Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media and today we've got another installment of the Billboard tier list. We're going in reverse chronological order and looking at the top 10 songs that landed on the Billboard dance and electronic charts for the year. And uh, you know, I must say they're they're getting better. They're, they're getting better. The songs are getting better. We've had some pretty not great songs, I would say, but um, yeah, we're gonna put them all in a tier list format starting from the number 10 spot of the year going up to number one. Uh, and the number 10 spot of 2018, the year we are finally in this time, uh, is Remind Me To Forget by Kygo featuring Miguel. Uh, a little upbeat here with this one. This one feels like another really, really popular song, especially in the EDM community. But not as uh, not as the inherently tropical house sound I would say that Kygo is sort of known for at this point. Uh, but it is definitely an earworm, and I would say more interesting than some of his other tracks, which I find to be just pretty stale. Um, Miguel's vocals I feel like are okay on this one, and at best uh, with the kind of yeah, copy paste drops, I think, that are a little anthemic in some area, but a little also weird with the vocal chops. And I don't know, it was a bit of, there were things that I was like, yes, this works great. And some parts of it I thought were a little underwhelming. Um, but again, just, I think just in the end, just a, a kind of mindless, fun kind of summer track. So we're gonna put this in D, D tier. Then we've got Solo by Clean Bandit featuring Demi Lovato. Uh, I will give this track some credit for having uh, very unique vocal chops uh, that kind of bleed into the chorus. Some that I heard really just recently with, um, I think it was Jayo from Memba, one that I, I really appreciated in the style for which it was conveying the vocal chops. And this was um, another kind of one where it's like that, where it just, there there is often like a distinct, here's your core or your verse, your, your pre-chorus, your chorus, and things like don't really bleed into each other a ton, like they're just very separate movements. But this one felt like a little bit more, I don't know, a, a little more trend, like cleaner transitions between the two, I think think maybe is the best way to put it but uh yeah uh it's a pretty like down track lyrically like a pretty kind of sad one but i'm um, backed by a, a kind of party beat so this one honestly not too bad so i'm gonna say this is uh we're gonna put this one in c c tier uh for clean bandit way to go uh, then moving into Jackie Chan by Tiesto and Zico featuring uh Premi and Post Malone um, I, again, just lyrically, I want to kind of talk about how uh, the 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 specific line that is kind of anchoring this whole track is um, uh, is the I just ordered sushi from Japan. Know your bitch want to kick it, Jackie Chan. Um, so I just want to reiterate something right real quick. Um, Jackie Chan is from Hong Kong. Um, so why? the need to mention Japan and why the need to rhyme Japan with Jackie Chan when it's, it's not where he's from. So I don't know. That one feels a little too like they just picked in a, like an Asian country and went, yeah, that one, it rhymes. So let's uh, Jackie Chan's from there, right? He's Asian. So I don't know that one just, I don't know. I, that one felt not great for me. That being said, I do kind of dig the beat on this track more so than other kind of popular <laughs> weird vocal tracks. But um, yeah, remove the lyrics and I think I'd really enjoy this one totally, but I can't really because of the lyrics, but I like, I do kind of forgive it. It's not as egregious as some other tracks are and it's that's just one little line and whatever. But in the end, I think I'm just gonna give this a D. I think it's gonna go in D again. So two and D. Uh, and then uh, for the third year in a row, uh, we've got Happier by Marshmallow and Bastille. Uh, it is shocking, honestly, how long this song managed to stay on the charts. It is honestly impressive, actually. Three years on the dance charts. It started in 2018, went to 2019, peaked in 2019, and then came back a little bit lower for 2020. So honestly impressive. Way to go, Marshmallow, for keeping this, uh, this song. So far in all my learnings and going back, I think this is the only one that's been on three years in a row. So uh, I've said it on the other ones before, but uh, yeah, vocal uh, vocally, Bastille's kind of, they're a little dull, I would say, uh, but, and the lyrics are surface level, which again, I've uttered in the past, but um, it's just a song I feel like I bop to. I, I think it's great. I think it's really fun. Um, I just have a lot of personal memories with this one particularly, and I think it's one of Marshmallow's better uh, kind of commercial tracks. So we'll put that one in C. Now we've got Let Me Go by Haley Steinfeld and Alesso featuring Florida Georgia Line, Florida Georgia Line and Watt. Um, 
This is pretty solid commercial EDM, I would say. Uh, good vocal features here, kind of a, a chanting chorus with a catchy hook. It's uh, clean and put together production, makes it very palatable for a lot of people. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy here. It's a very, very safe song with a lot of big names, a lot of stuff going on, but still managed to be fairly clean and fairly safe. And so we're gonna put this one in, uh, in B. We're gonna put this one in B, way to go. Uh, then we've got Silence by Marshmallow featuring Khalid. Uh, this, of all the big Marshmallow songs, is my favorite. Of all of the commercial Marshmallow songs, this one is my favorite. I think Happy is probably my number two, and I think Silence is my number one. Um, Khalid, I think, cleans up on this track. I love his vocal inflection. I love his, uh, his style of, of what he's doing. And uh, the production actually, I think, holds its ground compared to some other Marshmallow tracks, here, especially the kind of bigger, more commercialized one. Um, the melody is an earworm and is mixed with uh, actual confidence, I would say. It feels like it's it's meant to be mixed in a good way. So uh, we're going to put this one in B tier, though. Uh, so B tier. Uh, the number four track moving on up is One Kiss by Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa. Uh, House for the Commercial Masses is here with One Kiss. And this one felt like uh, everyone knew this track. Your, your sister, your brother, your mom, your grandma, everyone kind of knew One Kiss, I felt like. Uh, maybe that was just me being ignorant, but I felt like this is just a massive song. So, uh, And I, yeah, respected for it. Uh, Calvin Harris killed it on the beat. Dua Lipa's vocals are smooth, as she always is. And overall, just a, just a really, really solid track. So um, not enough to put it in S, though. So we will just put it in A tier, in A tier. And uh, number three track is uh, Something Just Like This by The Chainsmokers and Coldplay. So yeah, the um, <laughs> uh, are the synths hella weak? Yeah, they're pretty weak. Uh, are Chris Martin's vocals pretty stale? Yeah, they are pretty stale. But uh, is the song a bop? Yeah, you bet it is. Um, of all of the kind of EDM tracks to chart, this is the one I feel the most okay with kind of turning my brain off and just jamming to. Um, again, it's not really a truly great track, but it's just, it's enjoyable. I feel like it's I feel like the people that hate on this track, which are a lot of people, not gonna lie, and rightfully so, I would say, but I feel like if you really hate on this track, it's just because you hate on the Chainsmokers as a whole. Um, and I mean, that's also fair, but this one just feels like, this one feels like everyone knows this one. Everyone knows this one, and it's just kind of fun to sing to, and I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm a commercial uh, commercial frog, but uh, we're gonna put this one in C. We're gonna put this in C. My boldest take, I think, of anything on the tier list. And our penultimate track of 2018 was Wolves by Selena Gomez and Marshmallow again for the third time. Um, I will give Marshmallow some credit here for trying to do something a little bit different and it kind of worked and kind of didn't. Um, the whole track just feels a little lost, I would say, more so than not. Uh, Selena's vocals on the verses don't really match the beat at times, which makes it feel like it's a whole thing that's just off kilter. But uh, what really kind of... Um, I don't know, the, 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 it's got these anthemic beats, these anthemic builds up into this track, into these, into these builds, and I don't, like, I just don't know how I feel about them, it's just a weird track, and, it, and the album art, I think, is horrible, but, um, yeah, it just sort of falls out in the actual drop when it comes into those builds, and so, I, I don't know, I just, this, this, this whole thing feels weird, it feels like an odd song, I'm not sure how it made it this high, always, but I guess it's Marshmallow and Selena Gomez, but, uh, we're gonna put this one in D, though, in D, it's still, it's still palatable. Uh, and our number one song of 2018 was The Middle by Zed, Marin Morris, and Gray, which showed up uh, back in 20, I guess, forward into 2019. Um, but um, yeah, for a Zed track, I will say this felt a little boring. Uh, Marin, Marin Morris's vocals are very prominent in the mix. Uh, and other than this being a sort of popular Zed song that others know, I don't really think this is one of his better tracks. I don't think this is a really great track. Um, I think it's just known for being popular. I think the song is just known for being popular. I, I really tried to do a deep dive into this and think about what I could say about the song. And I just felt it was so, like, it was just so linear. Like it was just so nothing burger of a track um, that you kind of just, again, just like Coldplay for me, just turn your brain off and just listen to. So I don't know. And by Coldplay I meant something just like this, um, but yeah, it, it's a weird one. Uh, it's number one. We're going to put it in D to end it off the list. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of any and all of these songs uh, in this tier list in the comment section below. Other than that, I've been Dakota from Motel Media, and I will see you guys in another video.